Hey guys, the Zoom Bum will be here bringing you another Transformers Generations review. And today we're going to be looking at Transformers Generations Decepticon Scourge. Scourge is awesome. Uh, I, I, this is probably my favorite Generations figure that I have. Uh, I really like him. He's cool. Um, I hope they would do like repaints of this to sort of be like the sweeps or something. You know, I, I mean, I know they're all supposed to sort of look the same, but, you know, sort of make it different, like maybe switch the blue and white around or something, or give it like a, like a bluish white and, uh, like purple or something, you know, sort of, sort of like, like that color, maybe, like, or maybe the color of, uh, his hands for the white, you know, something like that, but, uh. Yeah, here we have Scourge. He's a pretty cool Decepticon. Uh, I, I really like him. He's pretty cool. Uh, I like I like how he's landing gear, uh, but this one I have to get out with a knife, and that sort of bugs me. I don't know why it, it's so hard for me to get out, but yeah. Um, he's just there. They don't roll, but I'm just gonna close those up because we're gonna be transforming them soon. Uh, but yeah, you hear that shaking? That means something. But yeah, let's, let's just start. What you can do actually before we start transformation, uh, you can actually pull up his head like you did in the old TV show, and like fly around and look at people. Be like, I see you, Optimus Prime. <laughs> Push that back in there. Okay, now we're gonna start. I just want to show that off. But yeah, um. Start transformation. Just wanna bend it down on our hat there. That there, boy. Yeah. <laughs> then you wanna open up his wings and ooh, something fell out. What was that? It was a gun that has a clip point system on it that also flips out to have a handle on it. So we'll put that right there. Open up this other wing. Look, another gun fell out. Oh, fold it out. Holy crap! I got two guns. It's awesome. Okay, <laughs> yeah, there you have his wings all. Well, they're not really finished yet, but they will be. Um, I sort of like to close them up for right now. Sort of get his guns out of there. Then you want to take his legs and sort of uh, untab them from this and bring him down. Like that. And then you want to take the front piece, sort of just bring it forward. My hat. I really like how his legs were done. They're they're cool. I, I like that. So yeah, he's almost done. Now you sort of untab that and bring it down a little bit. Fold this back. Bring this up and around. Now. In the instructions, it said that these right here, these tabs, go into those holes right there. But I can't seem to do that. So what I like to do is sort of like open up the landing gear. I and I sort of just I get it all situated in there. And I get it to about like that. So the landing gear sort of fills up that top part and stuff. Pretty cool. Yeah, there's his head. Sort of a uh, pop that back out. Rotate him. Oh no, you can't do that yet. You wanna bring up his arms and sort of push up his chest. And whoa, his leg came off. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. This is this part's hard to do for me. It's like really tight, and his legs keep falling off. Okay. Oh, what just fell off? Oh, landing gear. Hold on, yeah. He falls apart a lot. <laughs> that really this is the first time his legs have popped up, off the. But yeah, you want to sort of just bring it up like that, so you can rotate his waist around. Then rotate his legs. Then bring his butt flat back up. So yeah, and then you just want to fold up these wings in the back like that. And again, stupid landing gear fell off. You know, I'm just going to fold those down in because I forgot they've been doing that a lot lately. Okay. Uh, 
All right. Sorry. <laughs> you want to just sort of open up that junk right there. Pull out that. Rotate it around and push it in. Sort of just get it all flat and straight right there. The same thing on this arm. And rotate them at the elbow and then slide out the hands. Like that. Okay, we're almost done. Now the instructions say to leave his wings like that. The instructions say to leave his wings like that. But I don't like that. What I like to do is open up his wings. Whoops, it broke. These guys just fall apart today. And uh, sort of just bring them down here. I'll show you with this one. Open it up and then bring it down in like that. Then angle his wings down is what I like to do. Sort of gives them a, more of the G1. I, I think this is how you're supposed to do it anyway, but uh, all the pictures on the back, I didn't really look at the instructions, but all the other pictures on the back, those weren't open and stuff. So, yeah. You can put his guns in both hands, but they're pain in the butts. Like this one is a pain in the butt to get in there. But you can uh, rotate that clip point down. There's a clip point right there. You can put it on his gun. And this looks a lot like his uh, G1 Target Master. So that's pretty cool. You can also clip this up there or on his back. But yeah, I'm going to put it in his hand there. And there we have Scourge. He's pretty cool. You can rotate his arms, go in and out, swivel at the elbow and bend at the elbow, swivel wrist, ball jointed head, ball jointed leg, swivel at the upper thigh, bends at the knee, I think at two points. Yeah. Then he's got like, uh, I think that's a ball joint, yeah, ball jointed feet, so. Oh, and a swivel waist, so. Yeah, he's pretty articulated. But, uh, yeah, here's a size comparison with his fellow partner in. Galvatron's tyranny, I guess. I don't know. Uh, there's Cyclonus. Now, all I need is Galvatron and be a good. So, yeah. But, uh, oh, and I, uh, here's, since I asked, since he, he was sort of, uh, built, like, reborn, well, born from him, there's, uh, Thundercracker. So, yeah, it's kind of weird that I got both of them same day, but they were the only two figures that I did not have, so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, I got Thundercracker, uh, Scourge, and Transformers 3 Dark of the Moon on Blu-ray yesterday. So, yeah, uh, anyway, please rate, comment, subscribe, follow my Twitter, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.